Hi, my name is Miss Cater and I am a first grade teacher at Hazel Wolf K-8. through And I am here today to talk to you about a few different strategies that mathematicians use. Have you heard that word before? Mathematician? Say it for me. Mathematician. Mathematician is a fancy way of saying someone who does math. And I know that as mathematicians in kindergarten first grade, you might be practicing some different math strategies. Well, today I'm going to teach you that mathematicians compose and decompose numbers to solve problems. Whoa, those were some big words. Let's talk about those words first. Compose. Compose means to put together. Take your fingers push them together and say compose, compose. Nice. Let's try it with decompose. Decompose means you take a number and you pull it apart into smaller numbers. So we would take our fingers and we'd pull it apart while we say decompose. Try it. Decompose. Today we're going to take numbers and we're going to compose and decompose to show how we can solve problems. Look at this, isn't this pretty cool? This is my number bond gadget. And with this, I can practice taking a number like 10, that's my big number, and showing lots of different ways I can take apart the number 10 into number bonds. And to do this, I have these fun little counters at the bottom. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 counters because 10 is my big number. 10 has the number that has the highest value. Let's practice taking 10 apart in different ways. Hmm. If I slide two over here, two, what number would go here? One way I like to figure this out is I like to use what I call the tools attached to my arms, otherwise known as my fingers. You can use your fingers to find out different combinations or different ways to make 10. So I know I have 10 fingers. If two of them are over here, I can put down two fingers to figure out how many go on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the number that would go over here would be eight. I also can count my rods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is how you can decompose or take about 10. Let's do that again. Looking at my number bond, I've broken 10 into three and what? Using the power of because to explain your thinking, turn and share what number would go here. I know that seven goes here because I know that three plus seven makes 10. I use the power of because to explain my thinking. This is a number bond, and this is one tool mathematicians use to break up and put together numbers. We're going to try this in another way. Dooby 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 What's this? Uh, I think it's called a bar model. Huh, a bar model. What's that for? Uh, I think it's like for mathematicians to show how you can compose and decompose like numbers. Oh, that sounds cool. Can we decompose and compose like 10? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it at dinosaur speed. We're awesome. Uh, I agree. We are awesome. Look at all these combinations of 10, dude. Yeah. Go us. Looking at our bar model, showing all the different combinations you can make of 10, what patterns do you notice? Turn 
to somebody or something next to you and talk about it. What do you notice? Great. Recognizing the patterns we see in numbers also helps us remember the combinations easier. For our game today, you're going to need a cup or a bowl that you cannot see through and 10 objects to start. Your 10 objects need to look kind of alike. So maybe it's 10 of your favorite toys or maybe it's 10 counters or 10 Legos. Maybe it's also something as simple as 10 bread ties or 10 beans. You're gonna start with 10 objects and if you need, a tens frame can be helpful. Hi, I'm here with my partner, my daughter Alice, and we're gonna show you how to play this game together. I have 10 objects here and my cup. My first step is to have Alice close her eyes and I'm gonna hide some of these objects underneath my cup. Alice, open your eyes. I've decomposed 10. How many objects are under my cup? Four. Four. How'd you figure that out? Um, cause I counted these and cause I counted those, I knew that that um, six plus four equals 10. Let's see if she's right. Is six plus four, 10. So here's six, seven, eight, nine, 10. She got it. So you would do that again where then your partner would hide some for, for you and then you would have to guess how many were under the cup. Remember, if this feels challenging, you can use a tens frame to help you figure out how many are under your cup. Do you want to teach them another way to play this game? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, we're back. Another way that you can play this game is to play with 15 or 20 objects instead of 10. You're still decomposing and composing numbers as mathematicians, but you're using bigger amounts. So Alice, how many cubes do we have? We have 20 cubes. This time, as her partner, I'm gonna close my eyes and she's gonna hide some under the cup. Go ahead, Alice. Done. Okay, she's done. Now, as a mathematician, I know there's some under here. I'm gonna count what I can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. I think that if I was to decompose 20, and one part is 11, then the other part is 9. Is that right, Alice? Let's check it. Go ahead and lift up the cup and count. 1, 2, 3. So then we would switch partners. I figured that out because I thought 10 and one more is 11 and one less than 10 is nine. Mm -hmm. Alice, thank you for being an awesome partner. I bet you. Okay, mathematicians, let's use this strategy of making a 10 to add. Here I have the problem nine plus five. I'm gonna show you how you can decompose numbers to make a 10 to add. Watch me first. I have nine plus five. I can see that if I decompose five by moving one counter over here, I have 10. So I haven't changed the numbers. I decomposed five into one, which is over here, and one, two, three, four. So I've broken five into one and four. By doing this, I can see I've changed nine plus five as a problem to 10 plus four, which is 14. Making a 10 is a way to decompose numbers to add bigger numbers quicker. Let's try it again. Here I have another problem five plus seven. I have five counters and seven counters. I'm gonna practice making a 10 in order to add this problem quicker. 
So I can move over one, two, three, four, five counters over here, and I have a whole 10 over here. So I can decompose seven into five and two. When I decompose seven to make 10 over here, I can then add it as 10 plus, how many do I have here? Two, which is equal to 12. So five plus seven is 12. We're gonna practice one more time. Okay, mathematicians, it's your turn. I have a problem here, eight plus eight. Think in your head about how you could make a 10 to add this quickly. How can you decompose the numbers to make a 10? Share your idea now. Great, I'm gonna show you by moving some counters over. So I can move one, two onto this 10 frame to make a full 10, which means I've decomposed eight into two and six, because I have six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Once I've done this, I have made one full tens frame and I have six left over. Think in your head what the answer to eight plus eight or 10 plus six is. Say it. Great, it's 16. Decomposing numbers to make a 10 helps us as mathematicians to solve problems. Okay, mathematicians, today we practiced looking at different ways that we can compose and decompose numbers to solve problems. We looked a lot at the number 10 because making 10s is a great strategy for us to add small numbers all the way to adding up big numbers. These different ways of composing and decomposing numbers might make sense or they might not make sense yet. And that's because we all have different minds. We all have different brains. If when you're working at home, something feels really tricky, remember, stop, think about how you're feeling, recognize how you're feeling, and you might need to take a deep breath or change your activity for a few minutes. Being aware of how we're feeling is an important way to make sure we're in a place and a space to learn. As I say in my classroom, work hard, get smart, woo woo. <laughs>